Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm back with part two of today's message. And so today is the day after the full moon, uh, and it was known as the harvest moon or the corn moon in Native in Native American culture uh, because it's the start of a new season and the start of a new growing season as well. So I, well, because of that, I'm going to be drawn to a Native Spirit Oracle guidance for today. And it is, oh look at that, it's the stone circle. This is Stonehenge offerings. So there's been lots of our ancient um, stone megaliths. And uh, this is actually where I went to Stonehenge um, for the summer solstice. And I took my crystals there to place against the rocks. So which I use for the healings. So this is, yeah, there's lots of, uh, I don't know, there's lots of good stuff happening. So, the universe is grateful for you. You are a gift to the world. Feel gratitude for everything in your life, even the things that don't seem perfect. Appreciation for everything flows through you in great bounty. Cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you, and thus you will be cherished. The native spirit wants you to know that every native culture throughout history has made offerings, often on a daily basis. Offerings are made to the sun, the earth, the plants and the animals, and to everything in creation. The offerings vary culture to culture, but they were always made with a feeling of extreme appreciation for the bounty of life. Gratitude was the secret to a joy-filled life. True thankfulness can work like modern day alchemy. <laughs> So the first message for today, we had the alchemist, which is like you have the potential to create the life of your dreams, right? Yielding happiness and peace beyond imagination. And it's simple. Find what's good and wonderful in every moment. No matter what's happening around you, there's always something to be grateful for. Whatever you appreciate in life will grow. So discover what you're thankful for even the people and situations you found challenging <laughs> and watch miracles unfold. And the journey is, make an offering to whatever nurtures your soul. If you're nurtured by a particular place in nature, for example, you might consider leaving some fruit at the base of a tree for the animals in that area to give thanks for the beauty that is there. So that's really lovely because <laughs> uh, a few weeks ago, um, uh, me and a friend, we gave an offering to a tree and we put a piece of rose quartz into the tree, into a little hole in the tree. So, um, offering love. So there you go, that is the message. It is the offerings, the stone circle, the circle of life that we're all coming together to help each other to grow and to go further on our soul journey together. Um, so, I'm just going to do a sacred geometry as well and to see what message they want to share around the sacred geometry and it is the conception oh we've had this before conception is number 16 which is seven which is your soul path so the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin the place where everything in creation begins it helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. So take a moment to go inside and remember where you came from. You are made of energy, pure consciousness. You choose to be here in body at this time and in this place. Allow yourself to realize the infinite potential and possibilities <laughs> that you are able to manifest through your focused awareness and intention through conception. And guess what page it's on? Oh my God, the, the synchronicities are just going crazy. It's 39 and 39 is the mantra that I was led to this morning for this morning's first video. So again, it's like the messages have been really, really strong, really powerful, really kind of like there's a shift happening. It's the start of a new season. It's uh, the start of another cycle. So, the message was, I am the freedom, the passion, and the desire of my divine destiny. I am the freedom, the passion, and the desire of my divine destiny. So, amazing. 
there you go i hope that helps if you want a healing a reading a channeled letter an akashic record reading then um please do all details are in the link all right and look what i just pulled underneath that was the lovers <laughs> so bees to honey um good things are happening so uh yeah if you want any help then please do let me know all details are in the link okay take care have a good day bye